So National Treasure for me is one of those treasure hunting movies which is just one of the greatest of all time. Only that of Indiana Jones and Goonies can really contest with this film. This is like the perfect template of how to make a treasure hunting film. On the story I think it was quite simple of Gates and his friend Ian looking for the lost treasure because Gates learnt about this lost treasure through his ancestors and his family telling about it and people thought that he was crazy looking for this treasure and that he was just a treasure hunter and didn't know anything and was deluded that there was lost treasure somewhere buried in America to hide away from the British but that was just a great idea and a great plot line for this entire film because then that really wanted to spur Nick Cage's character to go and look for this treasure but at the start of the film with working with Ian, you can clearly see that there's a trail as Ian backstabs him after Nicolas Cage's character, Gates, did not want to steal the Declaration of Independence uh, because there is a map on the back of where, where the treasure is. And since he didn't want to do that, he tried killing him, leaving, and thought he'd gotten away. And in doing so, Nicolas Cage's character then had to steal the Declaration of Independence to then stop Ian from stealing it and damaging it and whatever to find the treasure. But to me, I think it was just a very interesting plot line because you had Ian, who's played by Sean Bean, who is an incredible villain and he can break the law to be able to do the things he needs to do to be able to get to that treasure and he won't let anybody stand in his way to get in that treasure. We all know though that the best thing about this movie isn't the villain of Sean Bean and Ian. It isn't Nicolas Cage's character. It is Riley, let's admit, that is the best part of this film. Well, not to be a uh, nudge. No, no, no. He is an, he's, a, he's a good character, don't get me wrong, but he's not the best part of the film. I think the best part of the film is Nicolas Cage's character, Gates, and the his relationship with the character of Abigail, and the two having to get along with each other because at the start of the film he basically warns abigail that somebody was going to try to steal the independent uh, the declaration of independence and he had to try to convince her that somebody was going to try to steal the declaration of independence how mad it sounded and he couldn't do so so he had to steal the declaration of independence himself and when doing so she spots him stealing that and then it's like whoa what are you doing and then he has to take her with her and keep her quiet she tries running away there's a very distrusting thing when they're together near the first half of the film but then as we're finding out more clues it's really when she sees that there is a map on the back of the Declaration of Independence where she's fully involved and then falls in love with Gates throughout the course of the film. After, whilst we're talking about on the treasure, the ending, the ending was good, I think it was expected, of Gates finally finding this lost treasure and proving all the, the people that thought he was deluded and his family deluded, they labelled him as crazy and his family is crazy. He can then go, look, I found the treasure, what are you going to do about it? And to me, I think that was just the best way of doing it. And Ian getting arrested as well and the rest of his group getting arrested. But yeah, I think that that was a great ending. And we see that Riley gets a Ferrari or something like that. And then them two get a house together. It was a fantastic ending for this particular film. And it was sort of like a feel good ending where you think that was just what you needed at the end of a treasure hunting film. Before we jump back into this video guys, please do us a massive favor and smash that subscribe button because you do not want to miss a thing this week, next week and the week after because we've got tons and tons of content planned for you guys and you can do us a massive favor by smashing that subscribe button, joining the community, getting updates to all the latest videos from the YouTube shorts to the actual videos. It is well worth it, completely free and you will not regret it. To summarise National Treasure, and for me this is easy an 8.1 out of 10 and a classic film, but let us know your thoughts down in the comments down below, that is the most important thing. I want you to tell me is it good, bad, terrible, amazing, tell us why, why do you love this film, why do you hate this film, let us know all that jazz down those comments down below. However, if you've still got the knack for treasure hunting movies, check out our Uncharted movie review right now.